Am I going? All right. So this is our project. Uh, we did a clock. Here are the uh, all the components that were inside of the clock, just like the different parts of it. Um, how it works, our function it displays time, typically making a loud sound to alert at a specific time. Operating procedure is placing a battery into the slots in the back and then turning the switch on to allow the battery to activate a solenoid coil which turns the hands. Um, operating environment normally used in bedrooms, cost is $15 through $30. Manufacturing origin, made in China. Um, we couldn't find like an actual like brand or anything on the clock. Um, product cycle life. Um, raw materials like stainless steel, glass, plastic, and silicone are sent to manufacturers. Manufacturing processes the materials to create products. Once products are created, they are shipped to re uh, retailers to sell it, and then com consumers can choose whether or not to purchase it, and then um, whether or not to recycle it. And then the recycling product can made be. Um, destroyed and then separated into different uh, raw materials again to produce different stuff or another clock. And then these are our sketches. Right over here is the clock mechanism. It's a whole bunch of gears and then the solenoid. And then this is the switch. It's an SPDT switch, which is just an on and off switch. Um, th this is just basically the skeletons of it. This is the front side of it. And this is the back side of it. Um, this is a clock motor. Um, so basically it's what makes the clock spin at like the right rate so that one second is actually one second. Um, then, oh, go ahead. I'm a fault. Uh, this is like the clock alarm, so it's like the little thing that hits the bells that makes the noise. And um, yeah. Um, this is my component one. And here's my picture done on shape and dimensions. I couldn't get the mass right, and because I thought it was some type of uh, some different type of uh, steel, but most likely it was stainless steel or aluminum, and then it was ABS plastic and I think copper as well. And those are my dimensions. It was pretty similar. This is uh, component two. Um, it was again the uh, little clock alarm thing. I got all the dimensions over there, um, and then all the uh, mass and whatnot there. Um, this is component three, so that's the motor, except it doesn't have like the little, it had like a little metal thing on there, but I just didn't really know how to make that one on shape, so just act like it's up there. Did Jake's, um, Jake's ever end up helping you? Well, she did help me with some, oh, but, okay. yeah. Cool. So, yeah, because I couldn't get something, like, attached to it. It would just be weird, but, um, yeah, so there's, like, the, all the tests and everything on uh, Research and manufacturing process. So I did the slide switch. It was made out of copper, ABS, plastic, and aluminum, given to manufacturers to create the part, and then sold it into clocks. And then similar for component two, uh, made from plastic and aluminum. And then same with component three. Uh, recyclability, um, SBD T switches are reused for other items or sold on the market. If not, they are in, uh, entered into a reprocessing plant to be shredded and then sorted back into raw materials. Uh, component two, yes, it is recyclable. <laughs> Um, take it apart, use it for different parts, why not? Component three, yeah, you can recycle it, you can reuse the motors, or if not, you can just use the materials from it, so. It's mostly recyclable, whether most people recycle it or not, mm -hmm. you know. And that's it. Alright, nice job. Well done. Yes.